Okay, we'll get going and uh, so we might get some more joining us as we go along. My name's Joanna and welcome to the Melbourne Convention Bureau webinar for May. Uh, very excited that we have three wonderful partners with us today. Let's move this along. And before we start, I would like to acknowledge that I'm hosting this webinar from the lands of the Wurundjeri people. And I pass on um, my thanks and gratitude to those who are joining us today who may be Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islanders. Um, and I recognise and acknowledge their contribution um, to Melbourne and Victoria. We have three wonderful uh, partners today. As I said before, we have Phillip Island Nature Parks with Melissa joining us today. We have Chadston, the fashion capital with Ian McDougall joining us today. And we have Radisson on Flagstaff Gardens, one of our wonderful hotels in Melbourne with Pratish joining us today. We will have um, questions and answers at the end. So please do just type them into the box if you do have them um, and we'll get to them towards the end of the webinar. Um, also, just reminding, the, reminding you that if you do need any assistance, Melbourne Convention Bureau is here to help you. We do have a number of things available, all, um, all free services, all in kind that we can help you with to make you um, have a wonderful event in Melbourne and Victoria. Everything from um, venue suggestions, activity suggestions, itinerary creation, site inspections, sample itineraries, um, any videos or imagery that you may need to promote your event in Melbourne and Victoria, any visitor guides, maps, etc. please just do be get in contact with us because we are very keen to help you create a wonderful event in Melbourne. So we'll kick off now. Melissa, if you'd like to share your screen and we'll get going into the wonder that is Phillip Island Nature Parks. Thank you, Joanna. Oh, should we practice this? You are right? There you yep. go. Yep, that's looking good. For joys of technology. Thank you, Joanna, and thank you, Melbourne Convention Bureau, for asking Phillip Island Nature Parks to present today. My name is Melissa Cashman, and I'm the event sales executive here. So Phillip Island Nature Parks, home of the world-famous Penguin Parade. Phillip Island Nature Parks is a unique conservation organisation that operates, operates ecotourism experiences on Phillip Island. Phillip Island Nature Parks has an award-winning ecotourism visitor centre and it's only 90 minutes short drive from Melbourne. It's the ideal location for your next conference and event. I wanted to also just talk quickly, Phillip Island Nature Parks is known for our four attractions, the Penguin Parade, the Koala Conservation Reserve, Churchill Island, the Nobbies and the Antarctic Journey. But wait, there's more. There's more to Phillip Island um, with our attractions to come and host your next event. I just wanted to show on this slide that Phillip Island is your one-stop shop. And you can see on the slide in the map of Phillip Island that you can arrive on the island, visit Churchill Island, followed by the Koala Conservation Reserve, head south to the most southern tip of the island to the Nobbies and the Antarctic Journey, and finish your day with the Penguin Parade. Our function spaces at Phillip Island Nature Park consist of Churchill Island, the Nobbies, and the Penguin Parade. Sorry, I'll just skip myself. Churchill Island, a tranquil island set just off Phillip Island, attached by a bridge. It's set in the historic grounds of 57 acres. It has farming activities for your groups, cow milking, sheep shearing, whip cracking, and a working dog um, experience. You can see in this picture, we've got an incentive group here. As I've said, there's a number of activities you can do, but here this group are doing their own team building and the grounds are expansive to be able to hold up to groups of up to 600 people or more. We have a paddock at the front that we call Chill Paddock on Churchill Island. And here we have um, music festivals and the like. So this is the Ocean Sound Festival that happens every January at Churchill Island. There's 6,000 guests that can come to this. Um, here we have the Pierce Brothers, a famous band, rocking it out. 
We all can, we can also hold weddings um, of Churchill Island, uh, but also I wanted to show this slide not for the wedding business, but to show where we can have marquees and how special it looks on the island. So incentive groups, gala dinners, corporate dinners, um, team building activities can come um, and finish off with a dinner on Churchill Island, your own unique experience there on a private island. Next, we'll go to the southern tip, the Nobbies, the Nobby Centre. So at the Nobbies, you can actually have a number of um, event experiences. We have a function space upstairs that can be split into two. In this image, you can see we've got a working group, a conference. We can have open-ended rounds, theatre style or classroom. We can have up to 100 people upstairs in this room and you, you don't get a greater view than the Bass Strait. And if you're lucky in whale season, you can sit back and watch the whales whilst listening to your conference. Here's just another image of a corporate lunch that we can have, different styles. When you enter the Nobbies, you come into our mid-level and I just wanted to show this image of where we can utilise the cafe uh, to set up for large incentive groups. We recently had a group here which took up all of the space. We can fit about 80 to 100 people on the mid-level. This is the lower tier that can sit 112. And again, um, you could have this area. We then go to the Penguin Parade. We have a state-of-the-art visitor centre that was funded by the state government in 2016 and opened in 2019. It is a very, very special um, building. Um, other than coming to visit the penguins and visiting our retail stores at the Penguin Parade, we've actually got three education rooms that you can use for your business meetings. Um, you could actually have a business meeting and then followed by visiting the penguins. So the education rooms break into three. In this image, you can sit 25 in new style, or you can open the room up and have it as one space, which can hold up to 100 in theatre style. Uh, this is another great light field room with um, state-of-the-art audio visual. We've had gala dinners recently. We hosted the World Superbikes, and you can see here that we can really change the, the look and feel of the um, visitor centre. Here we had motorbikes, the winning, the actual winning superbikes were up on the plinths here and um, lit with light. And this was the gala opening that we had in the other image. We've got two restaurants or we've got um, eateries. This is a Shearwater restaurant and can hold 250 people. This is our little penguin cafe. This has got 222 um, seated for dining here for a recent incentive group. We've also just got to the right of that a theatre that can also be used and hold up to 90 people. We can have logo projections on, the, um, on our plinths um, that are great for welcoming your groups. It's a little special add-on. And this slide shows you our capacities. So you can have a look at this later on. And then finally, I wanted to introduce our catering company that came on board in um, August of last year, Create Catering. They offer very stylish, beautiful, sophisticated food um, for all of your event offerings. So thank you for listening. And if you need any, any quotes or anything, please come to myself, Melissa, at Penguin Parade. I'll now welcome Ian, all things Chadston. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. And thank you, Melissa. And let's pray I can do this one right. Share. How are we going? Does that look okay, everybody? Joey? Yeah, uh, we've just seen the um, notes screen. I think you might just need to share the other screen. <laughs> just so we see the full presentation the full thing you, know, you want to get the full thing <laughs> and just show your sound as well and try that one now then how's that looking coming through yep yeah, that's perfect yay thank you uh mcb thank you joey for the opportunity to speak today and thanks melissa great presentation makes me want to go down to philip island after i've done some shopping at chatty um ladies and gentlemen good morning uh welcome to uh chadston the fashion capital great to be here um 
tell you a little bit about Chadston and who we are and what we are. Um, and it really is summed up in this very you know, short sentence. We're the predominant retail, lifestyle, fashion and entertainment hub and really a must include for every single events visitor to Melbourne. Why? Because everyone likes to go shopping and they love to take something home from their trips. Where are we? For those of you who don't know, hopefully many of you are quite aware, we're only 17 kilometres from Melbourne, from the CBD of Melbourne, in the southeast direction, uh, about 20, 25 minutes, um, ideal as a day trip, or as you can see there, I've got some arrows on that screen, um, on the way to or from um, Yarra Valley, Gippsland, Morning Peninsula, and also beautiful Phillip Island that we've just spoken about, I uh, heard from Melissa. So, on the way to or from those great regional destinations, or as I said, as, as a day tour in our own right from the CBD of Melbourne. Um, bird's eye view, we've got a very large footprint uh, because we are, as you'll see very, or hear very soon, the biggest in Australia. Um, what you can see there, and I hope you can see my map, is our world famous grid shell roof. Um, that's where our visitors lounge in. This little building here, that is our hotel. That's the Hotel Chadston uh, M Gallery. Uh, only opened about, uh, about just over three, four years ago, right at the beginning of COVID. Great time to open a pub. Um, hey, the best way to probably start things off is to just show you a very short video, a little bit about Chadston. You might recognise a face or two in there, and we'll see how we go. Melbourne is known the world over as the shopping capital of Australia. Chadson is the shopping capital of the shopping capital. Over 24 million visitors a year, and it's just 17 kilometres from the CBD of Melbourne. Chadson has over 500 specialty stores, lots of Australian brands, over 40 luxury brands, and more than 90 dining outlets. Melbourne is known as a foodie destination. We've got that right here in spades at Chadston. No matter what your cuisine, it's here somewhere from fast food to fine dining and everything in between. Guests are surprised that we have the hotel right on the doorstep of Chadston. It's a true sanctuary of style. After a full day of retail therapy, why not try a movie? Or perhaps even a cocktail overlooking the city at our rooftop bar. Chadston truly is a must include in every tourist itinerary to Melbourne. Okay, yeah, there's a few points now about, about Chadston and then we'll move on to what's in it for you um, as events and uh, convention operators. Um, with, as you've seen, the largest, the best shopping centre in Australia, more than just a shopping centre, in fact, a destination. The 250-room hotel is right on our doorstep. Literally takes about a minute to go from the hotel lobby to into the shopping centre itself. Um, over 500 retail stores, making it more than twice as large as the next biggest shopping centre in Australia. Um, lots of Australian brands, lots of uh, over 40 international luxury brands, the biggest under any one roof. But the, one of the great things about Chadson is that all tastes, all budgets are catered for. We've literally got everything from Target and Kmart to Meyer and David Jones, to Louis Vuitton and Gucci, and everything around those and in between. So really, no matter how thick or thin your wallet or purse is, there is something here at Chadston right for you. Um, over 21 million, inter or 21 million visitors um, a year, and just on half a million international visitors as well. So we are a, a very popular destination. Ever-changing, Chatty first opened uh, in 1960. We're Australia's first ever shopping mall, um, but constantly changing, constantly evolving. The place looks and feels brand new. Um, new area just opened up uh, about two months ago called the Social Quarter. New dining, family entertainment options, 10-pin bowling, uh, hotel challenge rooms, uh, mini golf, and lots, lots more, and also some really good restaurant options. Speaking of the restaurant options, we have over 95 dining and fresh food options here at Chadston. There's always plenty of things to see and do, um, and yeah, lots and lots of cuisines how to get here easy we've got a free shuttle or there's lots of coaches the free shuttle 41 services a week there's a picture of it on the screen now uh bookings are not essential but uh, it guarantees you a seat on a particular service that brings uh well over 1200 1400 people a week to chadson is very very popular but if you're driving 
hey, we've got 11,000 free car parks. We're the biggest, actually the biggest free car park in Australia. Lots of added extras for your guests, for premium guest services, hands-free shopping, stylus, a butler service. And we do have the longest opening hours of any shopping centre in Australia. So when you can't go shopping in the city or in, or in other cities around, around Melbourne or, or around Australia, you can go at Chadston up to nine o'clock, which gives some really good options for your destination touring when you're coming back or going to Phillip Island or back, say, from the Mornington Peninsula or the Yarra Valley. Um, what's in it for you? What we will go, provide all of your events and convention visitors is this access to our beautiful visitor lounge, the bottom right-hand corner picture there. Uh, we'll do welcome signage within that visitor lounge. As you can see, a, a couple of customised options there, one with a, a group from uh, from Asia, the Melaleuca Wellness Group, and there's a little MCB group there as well, just a fairly recent one. Um, and what we'll, what we'll do for every person, we'll give them a Chadston tote bag, as you can see on that lady's holding, a tourist shopping passport. Um, discounts value added over 100 stores and a water bottle and a store directory, all free of charge for your delegates. Really, all you need to do is tell me they are coming and I know they'll have a great time. And if you've got a big group, and here are two very recent examples, there's a five minute logo opportunity. Everyone loves to see their name up in lights. Uh, five minute opportunity on our huge mega screen under our world famous grid shell roof um, during trading hours of the center. Ideally, you get the group together under the um, under the mega screen. Uh, it's, hey, it's photo opportunity time. Never a better time to do it, and it looks absolutely fantastic. As I said, those two pictures there, um, there were a couple, uh, one Malaysian, one Indonesian uh, incentive group that came to Chatty um, only in the last two or three weeks. That uh, one on the left hand side, the Indonesian Stock Exchange, they that was only last Saturday evening. So it's, we're a very very popular destination. But hey, you're probably thinking, that's fantastic, all this wonderful free stuff. What's in it for me as, as, a, as an operator? Fantastic. Commissions. We have, as I mentioned before, lots and lots of dining and fresh food options, over 20 fully-fledged restaurants, uh, almost every cuisine possible you can think of, and I've got group net rates. So if you want this, or in fact the fact sheet on the hotel, which I'll tell you about a little bit later on, drop me a line. Our con my contact details will be available at the end of this presentation or uh, just contact the MCB and say, hey, what was that bloke from Chadston? We need to talk to him or we need to get his email so I can get uh, his, his dining guide that he spoke about during the presentation. What's next? The hotel. Only open on the 1st of November 2019. Uh, as I said before, a great time to open a hotel. Um, but this is right on the doorstep of Chadston, about a minute away. Uh, 250 rooms, suites, eight adaptable meeting and event spaces, more than 1,000 square metres of space there, and a big ballroom capable of hosting over 650 people. Again, as I mentioned before, if you want a fact sheet of the hotel, drop me a line. Very easy to get to. Now, someone once told me at the end of a presentation, tell them what you told them, just so they remember. And this is what you've got to remember. We are the number one retail lifestyle fashion and entertainment destination in Australia. Um, and really, for all of your events visitors, we're a must include. So thank you very much for that. Take a photo of that really quickly so you get my, my contact details. And now it's um, my absolute great pleasure to introduce my good friend Pratish from the Radisson on Flagstaff Gardens, a wonderful hotel in the city of Melbourne. Over to you, Pratish. Thank you. Um... Give me a second. I'll just kind of put my video as. Uh, let me. Yep, I'm unmuted. And I'll share my video. Yeah, there you go. And I'll share my screen. Thank you, Ian. Um, and Perfect. it was lovely. Sorry, it was a very lovely presentation by you. Um, before I start my presentation, actually, I'd like to um, acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nations as the traditional owners of the land on which I'm presenting from. And I pay my respect to their elders past and present. 
And I would like to acknowledge any um, First Nations guests or Torrent Island guests who are attending this presentation. And I'd also like to thank uh, Melissa, Annie, and MCB for providing us this opportunity to present uh, our hotel, Radisson on Flagstaff Gardens, to all the attendees today. So Radisson on Flagstaff Gardens is part of Radisson Hotel Group, uh, which has got multiple hotels over the world. Uh, but today I'll be talking about our hotel um, as well. So as you can see, um, Radisson on Flagstaff Gardens um, is central to all Melbourne that has to offer uh, in the hidden laneways for internationally acclaimed restaurants and bars. Uh, and we're also located opposite the historic Flagstaff Gardens next to the Queen Victoria Market, walking distance to Melbourne's shopping centre, Melbourne Emporium, and very easy access to Dockland Prison for all sport um, and Marvel Stadium for all sport lovers and exploring other attractions within Melbourne. So there's a brief description about our hotel. Um, it is, we got 184 stylish um, guest rooms um, in the hotel. We have a restaurant and a bar. We have a rooftop fitness center, spa. Uh, the beauty or the advantage about, about for our location is it's only 20 minutes drive from the Melbourne airport, um, adjacent to the famous Queen Victoria Market, and five minutes from the Melbourne Central and CBD shopping. Um, we are located directly opposite the Flagstaff uh, Garden, which is one of the oldest parks in Melbourne. And we are also within walking distance to the train station and also located in within the free train zone network. Um, as previously mentioned, centrally located to the Melbourne Central Shopping Centre, Emporium, Marvel Stadium and other attractions. So at the hotel, as I said, we have 184 stylists or con contemporary guest rooms, which is made up of standard guest room uh, in superior park view rooms. So these rooms um, have all the um, amenities uh, that you would need in the guest room. The superior park room actually faces the garden, um, which provides stunning views of the garden for the guests who stay in this room. And on the upper levels of the hotel, we have our deluxe and deluxe park view rooms. Sorry, it's just moving a little bit faster. The deluxe park view, deluxe and deluxe park view rooms were actually upgraded in 2018 to give a bit of a modern look for the hotel. Um, and comes with, as I said, a large TV, bathrobe, in room, movies, uh, laptops, I've saved, minibar, Nespresso machines, and other facilities a hotel room should have. And this is the our restaurant and bar, which is open for uh, breakfast. I don't know why it's moving a little bit. It is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, it is indirectly opposite of the Flagstaff Gardens. As, in, as you can see, it provides a stunning view for the guests having their meal in the restaurant. Um, as you can see from the pictures here, it is open for breakfast from 7 o'clock in the morning and also provides lunch uh, from midday onwards uh, and then changes for a dinner uh, setting from 6 p.m. And at the hotel, we have a conferencing space which can be uh, used for meetings and any special um, dinner for the small to medium-sized incentive groups and also for day meetings. So our largest room, um, which is Flexstaff room, is um, is 100 square meters, and we have a smaller room, which is uh, Flexstaff 2, which is 50 square meters. Combined together, um, it is 150 square meters, and we can actually host about 90 people uh, for intimate dining or for day meetings as well. Um, we also work very closely with uh, Lawn, Melbourne City of Lawn Bowls, which is our external partner. Um, this venue has got natural light and also uh, helps with, um, um, also provides um, service like um, uh, barefoot lawn bowling, uh, which can be a, a good event for the guests staying at the hotel. Um, and we can also do barbecue and, and other uh, catering at this venue as well. Um, and we can also provide um, private catering in the in our hotel restaurant, um, as you can. See from the picture here, 
Um, we have got a fitness center and a steam room, which provides the stunning um, view of the um, of the city and also of the Flagstaff Gardens. Um, the fitness center is equipped with all the equipment that our guests would require. Um, other com complementary value adds um, that we have for the guest is free Wi-Fi. All the rooms uh, comes with complementary bottled water. We have a 24-hour business center. Um, and then we also provide complementary newspaper, which is available on, um, on request. And all the guests, whether it's part of the group or, or transient guests, can also join up for Radisson um, reward program and benefit as well. And as you can see from the map where our hotel is located and the nearby attractions, um, obviously iconic Queen Victoria Market that everyone talks about that everyone needs to visit when in Melbourne, uh, Marvel Stadium for sports lovers and Melbourne Museum is also a, another attraction which is located only one kilometer away from our hotel. And, and all the other shopping centers, uh, Melbourne Central, QV, Emporium, um, Berg Street Mall, which also is within walking distance or free tram ride from our hotel. Um, and if you have any booking inquiries, uh, please, this is my contact. Um, do contact me um, and I'll be able to help, able to help you um, assist with any inquiries. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of our presenters today. That was absolutely wonderful. I'm just going to share my screen now and just um, ask if we have any questions at all. Just put them into the um, Q&A box and we're happy to um, direct them to the right person. Uh, this presentation will be available on our MCB's YouTube channel. Um, so you can go back and watch it later if you do have a group that you think is interested or an event coming up that you think would be fantastic for one of our presenters today, for one of our venues today. Um, so you can go back or you can share it with your colleagues. Um, we'll also send around the presentation in PDF format and also all of the contact details for our partners today. I don't have any questions so far, so you guys must have done a wonderful job. Just wait another couple of minutes. It's looking pretty good. All right. No worries. We'll take it that everybody received wonderful amounts of information and everything that they needed to know. But please do be in contact with us or directly with Melissa, Pratish or Ian if you do have anything exciting coming up that they would like to host. I'm sure they will be very eager to um, help you put on a great event. So thank you very much for joining us today. Look out for our next invitation for our June webinar um, and have a great rest of the day and stay warm, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.